and welcome back to Sister Circle Live. This reality TV star turned the mantra, woman scorn, into motivation to thrive as a mom and business owner. And with her painful past behind her, this love and hip hop Atlanta vet is now focusing on her family and friends, keeping it happy and whole. Because I can't really depend on him to say, hey, you're gonna keep my child safe. I don't doubt that he will leave my child with Tommy or with KK. I understand exactly what you're going through because I have lived it, but I couldn't keep Eva away from Stevie. Please welcome the one, the only, Mimi Foss. <laughs> Hello, Hi. dear. Look How at you. you? Yes. I am well. Wow. Hey, gorgeous. Mm. And please plant yourself right in front of this great, big, pretty purple pillow. Favorite color. I am feeling all of this. Yeah, this is giving me a little. Is this sable, honey? What are you Girl. giving on the sleeve? I love it. Yes, yes, yes. Well, you are definitely dressed for the holidays, and it is holiday season. Yes. What are some of your traditions? What are some of the things that you do around the holidays uh, with your daughter? You know, regular stuff. She's she's eight years old. She mm -hmm. just had a birthday, so she likes the putting up the trees and the lights that's and the right. gingerbread houses. <laughs> oh, that's so cute! A gingerbread yeah. house. Look at that. I love that picture. So adorable. She is a very active uh, eight-year-old. Yes. I mean, she's into everything. Anything girly, Barbies. You know, the new American Girl dolls, uh -huh. the accessories, oh, honey, you know, oh, yeah. that, that gets very expensive. That is very. Very. Have you ever been to an American? Yes, oh. I have. Not for my daughter, because she's only three, thank God, but my nieces, and yes. Oh, mm -hmm. my God. She's Cherry. into yes, the accessories now, though, mm -hmm. the, the the glasses, the skates, the pocketbook, the wheelchairs. The uh-huh, they got it all. <laughs> yeah. Too much, because they give you everything. Yeah. So being a mom and a reality TV star mm -hmm. and a businesswoman, how do you work your uh, work-life balance? Mm-hmm. You know, there's not a rule book to nope. it. Uh, you just have to make it work and right, figure it right, out. Right, right, You know, when you have work, I have a really, really good nanny, and yeah. you got to have a team. That's you, right. Your mm -hmm. team has Absolutely. to be on point, That's right. and you figure it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. You know, we, we watch Love & Hip Hop. You've been on for how many years now? This will be season seven. Season seven. She wow, already, it. already. <laughs> and a lot of your life has just happened right before our faces. I mean, you've had some challenges with Stevie J. Oh, my God. Lord knows the man took you through hell, girl. But <laughs> let me just say this. Um, you have found a place in your life where you've reached a conclusion that you wanted to give forgiveness. And mm -hmm. what brought you there? And, and, and how is that now uh, co-parenting your daughter? I have to be honest with you guys. Please, it is please. a constant work in progress. Mm -hmm, right? mm -hmm. um, it is not easy. Mm -hmm. uh, there's nothing, oh, I just, you know, forgive you. No, I, I work on it every yes. day. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. God give me strength mm -hmm. to... Uh, he giving you know. your strength today. <laughs> uh -huh. Come on with the strength today. Then. Yeah. <laughs> and with this being season seven mm -hmm. yes. of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, Yes. what do you feel like you've learned? How have you changed? And what has stayed the same? Uh, so much has changed. Yes. I've yes. grown in so many ways. Mm -hmm. Just doing uh, reality TV, is it's turned my world completely upside mm -hmm. down. So, you know, things that I didn't know seven years ago, I, right. I, would, I know today. Right. I, I've changed in so many ways. I mean, we could sit here for two hours talking right. about, mm -hmm. you know, how I've grown from right. it. Right. Um, pretty much what has stayed the same is I was grounded before mm -hmm this show yes. and I'm still grounded That's and I think yeah. that has good. been kind of my success mm -hmm. for my longevity because I've I've been the same. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's good. Yeah, because I remember seeing you out once. Um, and it was my first time meeting you, and you just had the most beautiful spirit and just Thank you. so sweet. And she is a very sweet yes. girl. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, we know reality TV is tough, I mean, and, we, and we just want to tap on it a little bit more. Um, Sometimes we see ourselves on TV and it's like, oh my God, did I do that? Like, right. why did I do that? What have been some of your biggest regrets? And, and in that, what was the lesson that you share with your daughter? Make good choices. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that would be the lesson, make yes. good choices. Uh, a lot of times we think we have to do things for the show, mm -hmm. after do this or that for the show. Mm -hmm. um, the, but sometimes you do some things that you can't take back. Mm -hmm. And in doing that, um, that would be my biggest regret, mm -hmm. doing something that I absolutely cannot take back. Right. So right. I think the lesson in that for my daughter is 
don't ever do something you can't take back. That's right. That's good. That's right. a real good lesson. So do you think that black women have been misrepresented in the reality TV space? You know, some years ago, I would say yes. Mm -hmm. But after doing this for so long, mm -hmm. again, we all have choices. Mm -hmm. That's right. Once you get in front of that screen, you have the choice to act a fool or not. Yes, that's true. So I would say we make the choice mm -hmm. how we appear on, on TV. Mm -hmm. So not really. I think it's all up to the individual and how they carry themselves and what they choose to present when, that, right. when the cameras are rolling. Mm -hmm. right. Really quickly, what can we expect this season of Love & Hip Hop Atlanta that we haven't seen in prior seasons? <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm sorry. What's the no, oh my God. What happened? <laughs> really quickly, is there anything? It's love and hip hop. It you're is gonna love get, and hip hop. You're going to get typical <laughs> love and hip hop. Oh, Lord. Just know that. Well, let me clutch my pearls, honey, <laughs> and take us on out to commercialism. We have more with Mimi Foss. Maybe when we return, you guys stay yeah. right here on Sister Circle Live. <laughs> clutch your pearls. <laughs> Oh, yes, yes, yes. Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. And we have reality star Mimi Foss in the building. Hi, yeah. guys. <laughs> so, Mimi, I wanted to ask you, what made you say yes to doing the show from the beginning? Uh, a friend of mine told me to go down to the casting, mm -hmm. Stevie and I. Uh, we went down there, had an argument in the lobby, a real life argument, no. swear to you, and they chose us immediately. Of course they did. <laughs> oh of my course. God. They're like, oh honey, they don't even have to sit on there and answer any questions. <laughs> this is our this is our group. This is our couple. They yeah. signed us up yeah. just like that. So my life changed like overnight in like two days. It was it was wow. crazy. Wow. Wow. Well, now you're blossoming into this interior design yes. space. Yes. yes. So how did you get into that?